Hey guys, it's Pets for Life here with another one of um, the pet care videos. This one is going to be about hermit crabs. So right now we're going to talk about um, their supplies and how to set up their cage and what you want to put in it. So, right now I have a 20 gallon and in it I have two hermit crabs. This one is Fredger and in that little coconut hut, which you can't really see, is Riff Raff. So, when you're setting up your cage, you really want to make sure that there's a lot of good open spaces so that nothing is too crowded and it gives them a nice little place if they want to burrow or if they just want to like walk to the coconut hut so they don't have to climb over everything if they're tired. However, you do really want to put in climbing accessories. Um, purple pincher crabs are natural tree crabs. That's how they survive in the wild, by climbing on trees and on rocks so they can, um, so that predators can't reach them. Um, so I have four in my cage right now. I would recommend getting at least two and getting them of all different types of materials and shapes and sizes. So this one right here is an aquarium rock. I really like it because it has those little pockets and crevices which um, they um, cling on to and it makes them it makes it really easy for them to climb. Um, and I like that there's like a little hiding space here for them. So that's really nice. Um, I have a piece of driftwood here. It again has lots of little um, holes and grips for them. Um, the one that Fred Gurr is climbing on right now is an aquarium rock. He really likes this rock. Um, he climbs on it at least like once a day. Um, I really like it because it again has a lot of good pockets and you can't really see it but on the other side there is a little cave-like area where he can just go there and sit if he wants to. Um, and then I have a bendable lizard branch. These guys really like it and I like it because um, hermit crabs love to uh, have their environment changed up a bit and they like to go explore so you can bend and twist that branch any which way and you can put it everywhere. Right now I have it going as like a little bridge over the coconut hut um, and yeah they really like it. So there he is climbing down that rock. Um, some other things you need to make sure are that you have are food bowls and water bowls. This one right here is a fresh water bowl. Over there I have a salt water bowl. Um, salt water is mainly used for bathing. They will not drink it. It's really important for them to have salt water because it will help them when they're molting and it'll provide them with some extra minerals and calcium that they may be missing from their diet. And it really helps um, keep their exoskeleton nice and um, good. So make sure you have that. Um, I do not recommend putting a drinking sponge in there. I mean, they're not going to be drinking from it and it'll just make the water evaporate faster. So as long as there's some rocks or little ledges that they can hold on to and not drown, and that's fine. And just make sure you don't fill that up all the way. So my drinking water bowl does have a sponge because that's the sponge is where they will suck the water up from. And you don't really need to worry about keeping it full all the time because the sponge will suck up pretty much all the water. And um, you don't really need to worry about that because they will drink from the sponge, not from the bowl. So yeah, um, the next thing I have are these little uh, food bowls. I have natural seashells, and I have one for just a hermit crab diet and one for fresh food. And um, as you can see, there are a bunch of different sizes. I found these on the beach, gave them a good rinse with hot water, and now they're ready to use. And I like them a lot because it's easy for the hermit crabs to get in and out of, and, you know, it's easy for them to just pick up the food and drag it out if they want to bring it into their little coconut hut. So, again, what you want to make sure you have is a good little hiding space for them. Um, they are nocturnal, and you know, they are hermit crabs, so they would like something to hide under. I mean, they're all very small, so that little dark, nice place is good for them. Also, that, that little coconut hut will usually be very humid, because the coconut husk will keep good humidity. Um, and uh, some other things you want to put in are a bunch of extra shells. Have at least two shells per hermit crab. Um, and then the last thing is the substrate. So I have, for most of my cage, um, a coconut fiber soil, and it just occupies most of it. I like it because it keeps the moisture very well. And you want to make sure that this coconut hut and the sand over there is about an inch. So for my hermit crabs, they're very small, so I like to have an inch for them so they can bury themselves. But as they get older, you might want to make it three inches, four inches, just depends on the size of your hermit crab. And then in this little corner here, I have hermit crab sand. It's, um, it again provides them with calcium, which they need to eat. And um, 
Uh, it just, I like the coloring and um, I like that they can have different places to burrow. And you know the sand, it will be a lot warmer than the soil. It warms up a lot easier so if they want to switch from the soil to the sand, they can. And you know, it's easier for them to bury in the sand and more comfortable. Um, so yeah, that's basically all you need to know about hermit crabs and how to set up their cage and um, what you want to put in it.